O'Connor's name in the headlines above those of Janino, Emerson and Ravanelli. But despite his goal-scoring exploits, in seven seasons with Hensford, he's never been given the chance to play Football League. At 30, it may be too late, but Hull in the FA Cup is another chance to show how good he and Hensford are. Well, since last season's giant killing, five new signings have considerably strengthened the team that leads the conference. Number four, Paul Blades, played in the old Division One with Norwich. Number six, Carl Beeston, and number eight, Paul Ware, both had long careers with Stoke City. Number nine, Mick Norbury, scored goals at four league clubs. And number ten, Robbie Dennison, was a Northern Ireland international just a couple of seasons ago. Well, this whole team are third bottom of Division Three after losing 4-1 at home last Saturday. They're relieved today to welcome back striker Dwayne Darby out two months after an appendix operation and Neil Mann, a skillful left footer, who's also missed the last 11 games. And remember Glyn Hodges? His goal for Sheffield United put Manchester United out of the FA Cup in a televised fifth round cup tie back in 1993. The referee, six is Beeston. Beeston, O'Connor, oh, he missed his kick, and then Robbie Dennison couldn't stretch far enough. Well, Hensford almost looked embarrassed then at the amount of time they had in the penalty area. Well, when he needed to win it, Mark Greaves, he did so quite forcefully. Dennison will take the corner. So too did the goalkeeper. Oh, penalty! Carl Beeston went down. And David Laws has pointed sternly to the penalty spot. That was a reckless challenge by Rio. He took the player's leg. The ball was a half a yard away at least. been a debate about who should take this, they've decided Norbury. Well, he's only here today because Hensford managed to squeeze in two regional matches in midweek to work off a, a three-match suspension. But Mick Norbury, former Cambridge, Preston, Doncaster and Halifax striker, has put the non-league side ahead by one goal to nil. Seven minutes before half-time. Paul Blades. Or 19-year-old Matt Hocking, a free transfer from Sheffield United earlier this season with a close-range header that might have got whole level. Hull have appealed unsuccessfully that it crossed the line. Dennis. Dennison takes over. It's deflected. Fitzpatrick. It was well struck in the first place by Carl Beeston. Up in. Norbury. Here's Fitzpatrick. Well, they've still got it. Won by Hocking. And Hull have survived. ball boys with a powerful run to the far post great cross from Peacock to pick him out Rio desperation time now for Hull oh it's a good run by the barrel chested defender Rio he ran into Collins no penalty Well, Collins didn't do anything, he's not obliged to get out of the way. Rio ran into him, in truth. This is Fewings. Free kick. Are they going to get the equaliser with the very last gasp? This looks like a, a yellow card for Carl Beeston. 
and surely they'll try and plant this on the head of one of the central defenders. Greaves is there, Wright's in there, Hawkins comes forward, they're all in there. What a scramble. O'Connor helps it on its way, and our Hensford now about to claim the scalp of Hull City. O'Connor on the run, he's got Hemmings in the middle. It's 2-0, that confirms it. Joe O'Connor, who by his standards has had a quiet afternoon, has scored the killer goal in added on time. John Baldwin, the manager, with the fist clenched in celebration. A run from inside his own half, but it came after Hensford had won the ball in another good challenge. May have been an attempt there to bring him down, but he just slipped it underneath Steve Wilson. And we can't restart because Scott Cooksey, the Hensford goalkeeper, has had to come out of his goal at the right-hand end. Complaining that he was being harassed by the supporters. The final whistle has gone. It's an unhappy afternoon for Mark Haightley. It's an unhappy afternoon for Hull City. Dumped out of the FA Cup in the first round by non-league Hensford. Mark Haightley wants a word with the referee, but in truth his side were well beaten. And the reaction of some of the supporters when that second goal went in will add to Hull's problems. Norbury from the penalty spot after 38 minutes with the first goal. And O'Connor with the clincher in the 93rd minute. Hensford, the team who are top of the conference, show once again what they're capable of with a team full of Football League experience. John Baldwin, in his ninth season in charge, when he took over, they were in the Midland division of the Southern League, and now they sit on top of the conference, and who knows next season, they may be in the Football League and would be so deservedly. The final score here is Hull nil, Hensford 2.